there's nothing worse than getting a bump or dent in your prized possession, your car. This happened exactly for me yesterday, after having some new discs and pads installed, went to go and get the tracking done, and lo and behold, someone reversed into me, which has left me with two nice dents in the passenger door, both passenger doors in the front left. So now I'm going to try and show you how to remove them using two very simple things. Water, for starters, and a toilet plunger. So as you can see on the surface here we've got a small indentation just below the passenger side front door handle. Got scratches and scrapes at the bottom along with minor dents along the rear passenger side door. So, after several attempts at using a toilet plunger, the dent's still there. So we need to come up with another solution. So some of the things to you'll need, we've obviously tried out this method using the plunger which hasn't worked with the suction cup. So now we're going to go back to the proper way of doing it. We've got some uh, ultra smart uh, body filler. This is a 250, uh, 250 gram tin of it. You can get two tins of those. Uh, from TMS spares, uh, do car parts and all sorts. Also a tin of grey primer. This is a UPOL can and this is uh, 500 uh, milliliters. That's, uh, that's grey primer. And then after that we also have some uh, masking tape which we're going to need to mask off the, the edges so we don't uh, affect any of the, the paintwork and body which is perfectly fine. Next we've also got our clear clear lacquer. So this you can purchase uh, off eBay. This is a tin again of 500ml Autotech primer. Gives a, a good overall finish. And we've also got the exact colour code for uh, my model of car which is British Racing Green. And then to obviously we need a couple of grades of, uh, of sandpaper. So we've got some finer, we've got some harder stuff, which is uh, we've got some P320. This is uh, a lot more rough and it'll uh, a lot more coarse even. The uh, P230 sandpaper is a lot more coarse, and then to get a nice uh, a nicer finish, uh, we also have the P240. So we've got those two grades of sandpaper, the P320 and the P240, and also some, uh, some finer stuff as well. So that's all we need to start uh, with. We've got all the things that we need to start work on the door panel. First, before we do anything though, get yourself a dry cloth and clean off most of the panel. Um, make sure there's no dirt, dust, etc. So you've got a nice clean panel to start off with. All you want is the indentations visible, the dents in the side of the panel and you also just want any scratches that uh, we're going to uh, sort out later. We want those all nice and clear so we know exactly what we're working on, uh, working with. Don't overdo it, don't go massively overboard, just clean the panel and make sure you just use a nice dry So the next stage that we're going to do, we're going to mask in all of the area that we don't want any paint uh, or anything to get onto. We're going to use some newspaper and some masking tape to do that.
So we've now protected the car, we've got a layer of paper going all the way across it. We've isolated the area which has the dent and the scratch in it. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is use some sandpaper, some grade of 120 sandpaper, just to take the thickness off where all the scratches and dents are, and then we can start to see what we're working with from there. So in your body filler you'll have this uh, plastic location, tube of hardener, general principle is one tablespoon of body, uh, of body filler uh, to a couple of dabs of hardener, and that'll be the general application. <laughs> So we've applied the first part of our body filler to the door panel. This has taken out the most visible dents and scratches in. So as you can see that's the body filler applied. We've got some ridges going all the way down here and in the major bits that we've done. So we're just going to leave that for about half an hour or so just to leave it to dry out and then after that we'll go on to the uh, second stage of filling in these bumps and uh, scratches. Next part is we need to sand down all these ridges using a sander, gloves and a dust mask are recommended for this job. Um, but yeah, it's just to get a nice smooth finish on the bit that we've done so far. folks today is day two working on the dents and scratches on the door overnight we've had a little bit of rain which in turn has left some uh, marks up on the body filler that we put on nothing too drastic but what we're going to do is just to first clean the panel off with a few dry cloths clean our surface then use a hairdryer to heat it to clear off any moisture or any any of the uh, rain droplets which uh, may still be on the panel and that gives us a good start for this morning. So that's what we're going to start off with, with a cloth just to dry the panel off. So one of the other things I've, uh, we've done whilst uh, we've just applied the first layer of primer to the door, as you can see it's a lot better than it was. Those indentations are no longer visible. And uh, yeah, that's the first load of primer. Any minor imperfections uh, will make sure that they uh, are covered over nicely. 
what I've also done as well I had uh, some damage to the sill so I've taken the opportunity just to uh, fix this sill as well so body filled that and uh, it's a lot better than it was it's not perfect but it uh, just makes it look like it's still rather than having this massive uh, dent in the bottom so that's all done just sanding it off now then going to put some tape uh, around the chrome trim here and then that will be ready for the first layer of primer so all in all going in the right direction slowly but surely Okay folks, so here's a little update, <clears throat> so we've uh, body filled all of these uh, dents and scratches, um, got a nice, sanded it down, got a nice smooth uh, finish all the way across there, nice and, nice and smooth again, um, and at the same time also done that little bit around the sill area. So I haven't sanded this down and used a wet sponge uh, to take to take it off nice and gently. It's now time for the next layer of uh, primer to go on. And then after that we'll uh, pretty much be ready for our first layer of paint. But this is looking very good as you can see we're down to bare metal around uh, points here. But uh, slowly it is getting there. So what we're just doing now folks is we're just peeling back a little bit of the paper and tape just to smooth out the edges on either side of the door, the bit that we've worked and sanded on and the body fill part and just getting a nice smooth edge on that so that when we paint over it we don't have any ledge going onto the main paintwork just so it looks nice and uh, nice and proper the way it did originally. Okay folks, there we go, that's our job complete. We've taken out the dints and uh, scratches which were inflicted two days ago and uh, with the help of my dad we've managed to body fill those dents and scratches. We've used the exact uh, colour type of paint, British Racing Green along with some lacquer and as you can see the finish is fantastic so compared to what that was that is absolutely brilliant it's taken the uh, best part of yesterday afternoon plus today so all in all hours wise it's, it's probably taken a good uh, eight to nine hours between two people uh, doing it and so what i really wanted to do in this video uh, primarily was just to show you guys that it's possible to fix any dents, scratches 
all it takes is a bit of time, a bit of effort, and uh, if you know someone who has expertise when it comes to doing stuff like this, or not even expertise, who's had previous experience, that is invaluable, and it can help you massively. As long as you're prepared to put the time in, you can get a really good finish. And as you can see, compared to what it was, Ten times better. I hope you guys like the video. Just some tips and suggestions on how to do it. Uh, once again I'd like to thank my dad, shout out to him for all his help as well. Between the two of us we've managed to get it done and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. This channel is mainly aviation based as most of you know but I just wanted to do this little video and uh, let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about it. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time.